Well, hello guys, this is me, Christian, again. And as you can clearly tell, guys, here you're off to another restoration of me talking to you viewers, guys, best of all times. And for my good sake of good YouTube channeling, good stuff and all. Now, anyways, guys, yeah, if any of you guys have, of course, not subscribed to my channel or my girlfriend Harmony's channel, please consider doing so, guys, because it will so fully indeed help us both out lots, guys, for sure. Anyways, let me get on to today's best news, which I really specifically enjoyed quite a bit. Anyways, I never thought to actually test out, like, I today at school, during lunch period, because, of course, they had this going through Monday, January 9th. And they had one today on Friday, January 13th. Anyways, and yeah, that was in 2023 year in case we're reflecting back on these years. Future, for the future me or anybody else that plans on watching this video. So anyways, I tried a new food today. That's right, guys. Although it has all the familiar ingredients, no doubts, because we're used to the other familiar stuff, but we're not used to the name, because the name originally came from India, which is actually a very good type of meal, and that just ended up being some other guys. That, it might not come out correctly according to Google lines here, but yes, Samaza, it was the, I, yeah. And I hope that many of you guys, yeah, understand the kind of food dish or whatever I'm trying to get at, guys. Like, in case some of you guys don't typically know the, the, like, what the food looks like. Because it was hard to be, to even recognize what smazas were. Indians would definitely understand the, 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 the recipe and the, and, but yeah, they, what it looks like and all but for some people that don't know it i'm gonna show you a quick little image of what they look like guys and yeah pausing for a second so there it is guys here's the images of what the samazas look like guys yeah so as you can see there's quite a lot of it and you're wondering the recipes that they might have in it pretty simple enough they have what I've tried out so far, like they kind of look a little like the like the French fries, but in a, some sort of triangle kind of perimeter kind of way looking. Anyway, so what's in it? It may look like stuffing in it, but it's not. It's potato in it, just like with fries, chips, and a few other stuff. And then it's got some peas in it, followed by a little dash of spice. I don't know. They use some sort of secret spice, and it, it really kicked up a little bit of the spice when I got to try it even more and more. Plus, it was super filling. But I don't know if I per se really enjoy the crunchy taste of it per se. So that's why, you know, I'm having a little bit of a trouble with it at the moment. So, you know. <laughs> the things, like, that make the... the the dish look like something. I definitely, if I'm definitely giving an honest rating out of it, I'm definitely giving it a 7 out of 10. Because it was some good experience along with it. So, here we go. Back to my me talking to you viewers now. So, there you go, guys. There it was. What the Samazas look like, guys. And, hope that was worth quite the appetite and all. Anyways... So, noticing how I'm wearing this Special Olympics shirt, which is a pretty good, ex exciting deal of it all. Like, I'm wearing, yeah, I usually wear this all the way, yeah, I can't, you see, I'm wearing this again on a Friday night, basically. Because it all switched from, originally, no longer Wednesday nights from 7.30 to 8.30, it's now Friday nights to 7.30 to 8.30, all that cl clear stuff as it is, guys. So, you know how I was originally planning on wearing this to the Special Olympics game tonight? Well, no. I'm not actually going to plan on wearing this. Like, this was why I was wearing towards school. Because, <laughs> I don't know. I just 
maybe letting the people know, like from my life school's classroom, that I was letting all my classmates know that I was going there tonight and yeah, something like that. Anyways, the shirt I'm actually going to be planning on wearing to the game tonight is my newest edition shirt, which is the Team Hornet shirt, because that's the team we decided to came up with. And good stuff as it is there. Oh, and if you don't believe me, I'm going to pause again, and I'm going to put on that shirt right about now. See? I told you I was going to put on this shirt. Didn't believe me before, but now here it is. Literally the Team Hornet shirt it says Hornets basketball with a little B on it. Yes, I showed you guys it before, but I don't think I ever showed you guys when I was wearing this, which now in turnations, I totally am, guys. I'm totally prepared and fully functional for the basketball game. It's just a matter of timing, of course. Anyways, yeah. I can't wait to go there tonight. It's going to be extremely fun, especially joining a whole bunch of my good possible friends. Yeah, we're going to be shooting a whole bunch of good scores. Uh, not that it's actually a good provincial games yet, but when, I'm, when that does come, I cannot wait for that to all happen. That blastable moment is going to be so much action in so many possible area ways. A new phenomenal aerial diameter. And so many possible more calculations to go after that. Now, anyway, seriously, guys, I hope it was worth it for this video. I still don't have my stupid LED lights up yet. But when I do get the chance to, guys, I'm sure it might come in a week or two or three. I need to stop progressing the time, but... When I do show you guys, it will be then known to the next perfection setup of it all, guys. Anyways, have a lovely day now, and Christian signing off. Yes, bye-bye, guys. And yeah.